All right, Stephanie, give me 25. We're going to do my favorite, or one of my favorites, postural uh, slash arm burnouts. It's the YWTL, or Your Will to Live, as I call it, so I can remember what it is. The great thing about these arm burnouts with, um, with no equipment is that you could pick your uh, posture for the rest of the body, meaning if you're standing, you could remain standing. If you're seated, just have a nice uh, upright posture on your chair, or you could be on the floor. And the floor has all the options. You could do heel sit, toe sit, okay? You could come all the way up, tuck the pelvis under, engage those glutes, get some thigh action, engage the abs, okay? So you have a nice base of support, okay? I think this one is a great one. Uh, to hold posture wise you could also just be cross-legged like so you can have your knees bent okay this will all offer different difficulties or levels in how you have to fixate on the lower spine meaning you don't want uh, to have to keep correcting your lower spine from arching okay so if you do if you find that you're arching in order to do these postures, that's what we're trying to prevent, okay? So find that position for you where you could remember to keep that pelvis tucked under, some engagement through the midsection so that you're locking that lower back and taking it out of play, all right? The hardest variation would be against that wall. We'll save that for a different exercise. So your will to live. Let me just show you the pattern so you understand why it's called that. So here's Y, here's W, here's T, and here's L. From the front side, you may not be able to tell. What we're going for is to have the arms come out to the side in line with your body, meaning you're up here with the, for the Y, for example, without the arch, okay, versus here, okay, out here versus here, here, okay, versus here, and, um, okay, I think that was all four letters, okay? So you get the idea, right? But if being here out to the side and in alignment is going to take your lower back, okay, with it, then find that position where you can stay slightly ahead of the body and keep the posture that we want, which is no lower, uh, lower back movement. Now, then the most important part of this movement is that we keep our shoulder blades uh, depressed, okay? Meaning we wanna pat the shoulders down and we want all of the movements for the entire range of the movements to be with that same shoulder posture. So for example, it's common as we take the hand above the shoulder line that we end up taking the whole shoulder and shrugging up with it. What we want is to keep the shoulders back and down and take just that arm. So you should feel your the lower part of your mid traps right around here, okay? and your lower traps really start to fatigue almost immediately, okay? That's exactly the area that we're working. The arm part is a bonus depending on how well or how um, actively you're engaging these upper arm muscles, all right? The hand outstretched, fingers are outstretched, palm is outstretched, and if you look, from the side or the back, everything should be flat, okay? So no tweaking, no twisting, no floppy fingers, all right? All right, 25 reps could be a lot. So if you need to, you could just break up the reps to count as a single rep every letter that you do. That's fine, because these are not easy, depending on, because a lot of us have this rounded shoulders because of computer use, okay, phone use. So training the posture could be pretty excruciating work, all right? So 
Let's start together um, with the Y and actively, actively press out, okay? So feel free to switch positions and, and try to find the one that works for you where, again, you're able to keep the pelvis stacked under slightly, shoulders down and back. All right, so here we go. Here's Y. We're actively reaching the hand, but not the shoulder blades. Then we're going to lead with the elbows to come into the W. So take the shoulder down with it, okay? And monkey, no. Sorry, uh, reprimanding my, my cats, all right? Uh, down to the W, open wide into that T. Now your fingers are actively pressing away from each other. Shoulders are still down. Lower, lower back is still not engaged. And then into that L, which is a 90 degree here at the elbow, what we want. So actively pressing, actively pressing as if you're trying to hold a sheet of paper here without letting it drop. Okay, actively pressing. And you should feel some of this come into play, all right? But really we're doing work for our lower traps. And that would be one rep or that would be four reps, up to you. So shoulders back and down, don't be afraid to reset letter by letter or, you know, round by round, okay? So Y, T, W, your will, <laughs> to lift, okay? Actively press it down. So you're squeezing into your sides, okay? Also exhale at the shapes, like so, okay? And remember, shoulders back and down, lower back out of commission. There we go. Your will, to live, okay? Don't be afraid to set it down, okay, mid rep. Your, because it's better to train it in its correct position, that's our whole purpose, instead of just getting through the reps. Okay. To live, okay? Your, your, will, to, live, okay? Don't, don't be afraid to look in the mirror to make sure you're getting that 90 degree L, you're not shrugging, everything is down, you have a he heavy elbow, pressing, down and into the sides, okay? Active hands, okay? Spirit fingers, right? Active hands, all right? So you could break it down, like I said, rep by rep. Give it a go, excruciating.